Time to catch a Photoshop wave, dude. Hello and welcome. This tutorial is produced by PhotoshopIsland.com, your source for fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layer design. Okay, I'm going to jump right into this tutorial on how to make a quick monthly desktop month calendar. This would be something you could uh, replace your desktop with that would have a handy calendar on it. You can use the 2010 Volume 2 Photoshop Island calendars to create this. So the first thing you'll want to do is determine the size of your desktop. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but there, uh, depending on if you're on a Windows or Mac system, uh, there are a couple of different ways you just go into your control panel and determine what your desktop resolution is. For this demonstration, I'm going to use 1920 by 1200 pixels as my desktop resolution. So, first thing I'm going to do is get this document the right size. So I'm going to go to the image size and try to make these uh, pixels work out to where they get me at least close to the right uh, dimensions and then we'll kind of work from there. So I know I, I need to be at least uh, 1920 pixels wide. So let's see what uh, what I can do with that. And that gives me 1280 pixel height. Uh, I'm gonna let's I'm gonna change this to 72 dpi because that's the max screen resolution. I'm gonna go back up and make my width 1920. And you can see that my height is actually a little bit too high. I need this to be 1200. So how am I gonna resolve that? Well. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to my image size. Then I'm going to change my canvas size to match the rest of the uh, size dimensions that I need. I'm going to change this to pixels so I can see what I'm working with. Again, there's my width, 1920. I'm in good shape there. And my height needs to be 1200. So I'm going to change this to 1200. And I, in this particular image, I am going to uh, anchor my crop to the bottom or, or I'm going to crop off the top by clicking here in the bottom center. What this will do is crop those 80 pixels that I was extra off the top of this image, which seems like a better place to crop. Click OK. It's going to say, hey, your new canvas is smaller than the image size, so you're going to get some clipping, and I'm going to say that's fine with me. And now I have an image that's ready to be used as my desktop. So, how do I get a calendar on there? Well, if you have the calendar set from Photoshop Island, you can go to your brush tool. So, you want to grab your brush tool, and you want to load your calendar brushes. I'm going to go over to the brush tool and load up the, uh, go to the uh, load brushes option. And I happen to already have this kind of ready to go over here in my uh, calendar directory where all the calendar brushes are. And for this particular desktop calendar, I want to use a horizontal brush, and I think I'm going to use uh, this 2010 uh, Horizontal Sans Serif. And this will load the entire 12-month uh, calendar into my brushes. Now you can see I have the all year here, and if you hover over the various brushes, since it's hard to see what you have exactly, uh, you can see that the month that uh, that each uh, calendar represents, each brush represents, will show up. And I, th I think I want to use April for my soccer desktop. So here's April 2010. Click back here on my image. Now, uh, my brush is a little bit bigger than my image, and the quickest way to change that is just to use the uh, bracket uh, left tool for reducing or bracket right for enlarging your brush. I'm just going to bring it down to a nice size that uh, fits my image. And I think I'm going to put it up at the top so that when I have some of their icons and stuff on my desktop, maybe it'll kind of be out of the way. Uh, something else, I need to pick a color. Uh, by by default, it's, it's just going to give me this black. So maybe we'll pick a nice... Um, nice blue 
for our text, but not too light because you do want your text to show up against that sky. So I'm going to pick kind of a dark blue. And I am ready to go. I'm going to pick uh, one other thing I want to do. I, in case I want to make an edit, I'm actually going to add a new layer to put the calendar on. So I'm going to go over to my layers uh, palette here and say new layer. That's This is one way that you can do it. And we'll just call this calendar. There's our calendar layer. Now, finally, we're ready to go. And the easy part, just click down once. And there we have a calendar. And if that wasn't dark enough, which I'm thinking that wasn't quite a dark enough blue, so I'm going to do Command or Control Z and undo. I'm going to go back over here and pick a little bit darker blue to put on against that sky. And pick a location again and click down once. And there I have a great looking sky. And you know if that's still, if you want to play around with how uh, dark that is, kind of zoom in here and get a little bit better idea of how it looks. There it is at 100%. If you want it a little bit darker, you could also multiply that layer, make it very dark. And um, there you have it. Save this out as a JPEG or a ping file, uh, your choice, and uh, go into your uh, control panel and change your desktop to your new photo with your calendar on it and your set for that particular month, in this case, April 2010. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on uh, getting some use out of the Volume 2 2010 calendars from Photoshop Island. Don't forget to check out PhotoshopIsland.com for a bonanza of fun and practical Photoshop extras, from brushes to complete layered designs.